talks out to historic lengths now, more than a month after the old contract ended. KXN's Phil Prazen is live in East Austin at a community forum on the reason social justice advocates don't like how Austinites police our police. Phil? Well, Robert, here at the Carver Library in East Austin, the national group Campaign Zero is holding a community forum. This is in the wake of the ongoing negotiations between the city of Austin and the Austin Police Association. And early this morning, protesters went to city council and took a knee. They had a specific target audience, the 10 council members and the mayor. What we have today is full oversight in, in name only. Chris Harris from Grassroots Leadership and the Austin Justice Coalition want the city to place more power in the hands of civilians. In a recent report, the Texas Criminal Justice Coalition found that no civilian recommendations for police policy in Austin have ever become reality. These police officers should be held accountable for the wrong that they do. The activists have done a good job of, of paying people to come in here and, and spread uh, malicious untruths. President of the Police Association, Ken Cassidy, says APD has more public oversight than most cities, with a citizen review panel and a police monitor's office that has access to internal investigations. That's been a, a big disappointment to still hear people talking about how we're the least transparent when we actually believe we're the most transparent. But Chris Harris and others want the ability for action, not just access. We think that civilian oversight, along with the, the chiefs and the commanders, uh, should be the ones ultimately determining discipline for, for officers in the city, for sure. A tough sell as police and the city negotiate a five-year contract. And in the coming days, Police Association and city leaders will come to an agreement. It's then that contract will then have to be approved by the Austin Police Association members and then in November be approved by the Austin City Council. Protesters today were happy that one city council member, Greg Kassar, joined them in their protest. Live in Austin, I'm Phil Prazen. Back to you in the studio. The Austin Justice Coalition does say one bright spot in the new contract is a temporary agreement with the association allowing citizens to make online and anonymous complaints against police officers.